Twins, have you ever managed to secretly switch places with each other? Share your coolest story. My twin brother and I were studying at different universities, and none of our friends knew that each of us had a twin brother. Once a group of young people approached me and addressed me by my brother's name. They invited me to go with them and hang out at a bar. I knew that my brother was already at that bar. So I proposed a bet to the guys. Whoever reaches the bar first will buy drinks. I even gave them a head start. They agreed and ran at full speed while I stood there, looked at my watch, and yawned. I knew they would arrive at the bar exhausted and see me standing there, already holding drinks in my hand. I know it's not exactly a grand achievement, but it was a pretty amusing moment. I knew they would arrive at the bar exhausted and see me standing there, already holding drinks in my hand. In different clothes. My dad has a twin brother. Here's his incredible story. My family is from Iran, and young people there are required to serve a mandatory two-year military service. However, there are some exceptions. For example, if you have poor eyesight and need to wear glasses, you are exempt from the service. My dad had very poor eyesight, so he failed the medical examination and avoided the military service. Then he took his brother's passport and went to the military enlistment office with it and failed the medical examination again, thus exempting his twin brother from military service. I'm studying at one university and my twin brother is at another. I knew that a couple of weeks after the start of the school year, my brother would come to visit me in the dorm. I intentionally didn't tell anyone that I had a twin brother and didn't connect with anyone on social media. When he came to visit, he immediately came to my room and we switched places for about an hour. It was fantastic. He said he had a deep discussion about the American Football League that I was a part of. He used only the information he heard in the conversation. No one suspected anything. Want to have a laugh at a group of people? Just switch places with your twin brother. Our reveal was also amazing. He had lunch in the cafeteria with my friends. I walked in and sat at a nearby table. The looks on my friends' faces like, I can't believe my eyes, were incredible. One guy looked at him first, then at me, then back at him, and then back at me. He was just speechless. Oh man, I love being a twin. I was hoping you would shout you at each other and start fighting, so that people around wouldn't understand a damn thing. It seems like the funniest incident happened to me when I came to my sister's house. My sister and I are practically identical with slight visual differences and almost identical voices and manners. My sister has four cats, three of which are kittens from the same litter. They're a bit wary of unfamiliar people, but since they're used to my sister, most of them have gotten used to me as well. One of the cats is named Moby, and he's the most shy. But one day I spent the whole day on my sister's couch, and the cat stopped hiding and became somewhat friendly with me. When she's alone, she usually watches movies on the couch, covered with a blanket. But on that day, while we were watching a movie, I was sitting on her couch with a blanket, and she was in a chair. While we were watching, Moby jumped onto the couch, nestled against my legs under the blanket, and dozed off. He slept for about an hour. Then the movie ended, we chatted with my sister, and Moby continued resting on my legs. I said something funny and my sister laughed. Moby heard her laughter, looked in her direction, and saw her sitting in the chair. Then he looked at me and freaked out. On his face you could read the phrase, Wait! If she's there, then whose legs am I lying on? He suddenly jumped up and with a frightened expression stared directly at my face. Who are you? Then he ran away and hid under the drying rack, traumatized by the fact that he had nestled against the wrong twin. It took a while before he stopped running away every time he heard my voice. Edited. Yes, I posted this story before. Or maybe it was my twin sister. Cool question. I've already told this story before. My twin brother was the class president, and I was the vice president. When it was time for new school elections, we had to write campaign speeches. My brother completely forgot about it and went home. I prepared my speech for the post of vice president, borrowed a shirt from my friend, improvised a presidential speech on the go, and won the presidency over my brother. We both won. Why were you the vice president? We're not exactly identical twins, but we look very similar. Long story short, I went to my brother's class instead of him and gave a presentation. I'm a persuasive speaker and my brother promised me he'd buy me a hamburger for this. The teacher didn't suspect a thing. I love hamburgers. I can't believe something like this happened. If you're really a persuasive speaker in this situation, you could have scored two hamburgers. While in university, I sent an email to my professor that I wouldn't be able to attend the evening lecture because I got sick. When in reality, I was heading to a Halloween party. I walked past that class across the entire campus, thinking everything was fine. But no, the professor let everyone leave early for a Halloween party, and he noticed that I was also heading there. 
After that, he messaged me, saying that he wanted to talk to me about skipping the lecture. Keep in mind, this was the best professor in my college, and I would need to attend his lectures frequently in the future. I decided to take a risk and told him that I was at home, and he probably saw my twin brother. I told him that I thought he knew I had a twin brother. Then I sent the professor a link to our university's sports website, where you could see that I had a twin brother who looked exactly like me. The next week, he apologized to the whole class and regretted that he had mixed things up and falsely accused me of skipping the lecture. He was the best professor in his university. What a guy, letting students leave lectures early to make it to parties. And you lied to him. You lied to him. And he apologized to the whole class for your lie. You lied to him and posted about it on the internet. You owe this professor 535 karma points already. They're not twins, but my dad and uncle look very much alike, and they have similar voices. Once, when my uncle was visiting us, he and my dad decided to go skiing on the day designated for skiing for people with disabilities, as my uncle has many friends with disabilities who engage in extreme sports. My dad stood at the foot of the hill, near which a group of my uncle's friends saw him, and they were all very surprised. Half of the group thought some miracle had happened to my uncle, while the other half assumed he had been deceiving everyone for the past 20 years. Five minutes later, my uncle arrived in a wheelchair. I couldn't quite get this comment until I read the last sentence, and then I burst out laughing. I have two twin brothers. Once, when they were 13 and 14 years old, my brother Gio got punished and was forbidden from playing computer games. Nevertheless, as soon as my mom left the house, he entered the room and started playing on the computer again. He had headphones on, so he didn't hear my mom coming back home. She caught him, but he pretended to be his twin brother Dante. Mom started having doubts and called for Gio. Dante heard everything and tried to answer in a way that would help his brother. For a brief moment, mom really got confused, but she's a mom, so in the end she still figured out who was who. They both got punished. But later my mom admitted that she almost believed that legend. Oh brothers. I remember being punished but still playing on the computer, and when I heard that our parents were entering the apartment, my brother quickly switched places with me, and I pretended to be doing homework while he pretended he had been playing all along. Then I would ask the parents, I've been studying all day, can I play a little now? My great-grandfather had a twin brother. On his wedding day, as they were leaving the church, he and his brother switched places. For many years, my great-grandmother thought that the person in the photos was her and her husband. And only after 20 years, he did finally tell her that it was his brother. This was an unintentional case. I came to visit my brother's dorm. I parked and headed to the entrance when suddenly a pair of female hands covered my eyes. I turned around and saw a beautiful blonde. I had just managed to say hi when she immediately hugged and kissed me. After that, she asked, Has your brother arrived yet? I can't wait to meet him. To which I replied, I think you've already met him. She froze for a few seconds, then blushed. When we both entered the building, she slapped my brother's arm for a whole five minutes. Apparently he had never told her that we were twins. We got married recently, and now at every family gathering, we remember how we met each other. If I had a twin brother, I would constantly come up with situations where we bump into each other and loudly say, it worked. A story not about me. My dad and uncle are twins. A couple of years ago, my dad fell off a ladder and broke his shoulder while taking down Christmas lights. After the surgery, he had to undergo physical therapy. A few months into the therapy, my uncle visited from another city for some reason, and my dad devised a plan for a miraculous recovery. He informed my uncle of the names of all the administrators and therapists. He even wanted me to go and film it, but I was afraid it would ruin the joke. So, I was told how my uncle went to the therapist and effortlessly performed all the exercises. The therapist looked amazed and said, Wow, I've never seen such rapid improvement. I thought you'd never be able to lift your arm above your head again. What changed since our last meeting? My dad's family is a bunch of clever donkeys, so my uncle starts telling the therapist about a folk remedy involving ostrich oil rubbed into the shoulder. Meanwhile, my dad went to the administrator and apologized for being late. The lady looked surprised and said, But you've already entered. My dad looked equally surprised in response and the administrator invited him to enter the office. I was told that the therapist gasped and looked back and forth between my dad's face and my uncle's face three times. Another short story about how my dad tried to withdraw $50 from my uncle's bank account. My uncle has a small business and he goes to the bank almost every day, so the cashier recognized my dad's face and mistook him for my uncle. Dad approached and asked to withdraw $50 from his account and the cashier, without hesitation, handed over the money. 
This was a while ago when security wasn't as tight. Dad gave the money back to the cashier and explained that he and his uncle were twins. The cashier looked very embarrassed and probably got worried about his job. I got caught skipping school. I gave the policeman information about my twin brother. He had graduated a year earlier as he skipped a grade. The policeman let me go as I was no longer a student. Not that we switched with my brother, but we both worked as waiters in the same restaurant. When we worked at the same time, all the customers thought they were seeing the same person, the most dedicated workaholic in their lives. We received amazing tips. Thank you very much for watching, and if there are twins watching us, tell us about your stories of switching with each other. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as well as check out our other episodes. Goodbye!